Got a scale guys, Nexus here and welcome back to Destiny 2! And in today's video we have another legendary weapon review to do, it is going to be the Waking Vigil. Now this is going to be another Dreaming City weapon, it's the last one I needed to get. I've honestly, I got every other single one, this is the first drop for me, I don't know what it is. Bungie always seem to have like, a set pool of weapons and there's always one out of the set that you just don't get. <laughs> for me, the Dreaming City ones, mine is the Waking Vigil, I just couldn't get it. But we do have it now, and I'm glad to have it. It is an energy weapon, and it is RPM 150. Now, other 150 RPM weapons will be in the Kinetic, there's Dire Promise, which is a super dope weapon, don't get me wrong. And then you've also got the Jack King Queen, which is 150 as well, which is also an energy weapon. But these Dreaming City weapons so far have been pretty dope, like in terms of looks and ability. But it is going to be random rolled as well, so without further ado, let me go in and show you what roll I got. Waking Vigil. We have a duty to the solar system that goes deeper than blood. Deeper than oats. Paladin Devi Castle. So as with all Dreaming City weapons, there will be lore. I'll have it there. I'll scroll through it so slow so you can actually read it. I'm not going to read it out because I don't have the energy. <laughs> I don't have the bread to do it. But as I said, it will look pretty cool. It has like all the bows and stuff. All these Dreaming City weapons do have them. And now I'm going to do what I did with all the other Dreaming City weapons. I'm going to stick on Callus. Because Callus makes all the guns look pretty sweet. Like the purple ribbons and stuff. The guns always, like Dreaming City weapons, they always just look superb. But for the intrinsic perk, we're going to have lightweight frame, superb handling, move faster with this weapon equipped. First side on the gun is faster HCS, agile hand cannon sight, great increases handling speed, slightly increases stability. Next we have Sure Shot, HCS, Pinpoint Tank Cannon Sight, increases range, decreases stability, decreases handling speed. For the magazine we have Alloy Magazine, faster reloads when the magazine is empty. And then the other magazine perk we have is High Caliber Round, shots from the weapon knock the target back farther, slightly increases range. And then for the trade of the gun we have Zen Moment, causing damage with this weapon increases its stability. And last but not least we got the trade Outlaw, precision kills greatly decrease reload time. And then the masterwork we do have on this is going to be a ranged masterwork. So honestly, overall, I think I got a pretty dope roll. But that's it for all the perks on the Waking Vigil. I haven't used this yet. I don't know what it's going to be like. So I'm hoping it will be really good. So without further ado, let's go in and test the Waking Vigil out. Alright, so we're going to be on Javelin 4 first off. And what's the game mode? It shall be. Please be glad. Oh, it's control. control. But you know what? We'll go in anyway. Uh, that is not the gun in my hand, by the way. That's the Dread Adventure Sniper. The gun we're going in with is the Waking Vigil. I, for some reason, I keep thinking Walking Vigil. I don't know what's wrong. Maybe Walking Dead or something like that. I, my head, I don't know. My head just thinks Walking Vigil instead of Waking. But we're going to go in with the Waking Vigil. Take a nade. Uh, eat that nade. Please sit in it. Whatever you want to do with it. And there is the quick kill. 68 to a doe. Oh, thank you, boys, for cleaning him up. And hey, two kills already. So you see, it's about 68. So it will be a triple tap. Now, the thing about these weapons are, like, I've used a couple of them and stuff. Oh, he's so weak. I get one of these. Oh, come on. I missed every shot. Uh, the thing about these sorts of weapons are that they are really good in terms of TTK and stuff because they fire quick and they get domes pretty easily. The only thing is, though, if you miss a headshot you're gonna, and you hit a body, you're going to have to hit an extra shot, which is most the case with most like most weapons and stuff like that. But it's stuff like that. Oh, we got the kill. Can I, oh, I'm stuck here. Uh, that guy's a shotgun. Uh, it's, the, it's the case with most weapons, but for some reason, with these 150s, it's just more unforgiving. And there's a shotgun behind my back. I had the other guy. Oh, come on. Oh, great spawn game. Thank you for that. A lot of people love using these 150s, though. And Dire Promise, as I said, is super popular. I mean, really popular on PC. Well, it was before the patch of stuff came in. Thank you. No, we're dead. But yeah, it was super popular until like Ace of Spades and Lunas came in. But there's something about them that they're just so quick at firing stuff like that. Like obviously it has lightweight frame as well. And you do move so much quicker with these. I'm not joking. And the intrinsic perk isn't joking either. You do actually run quicker. And it feels so good. And that's what a lot of people love. They fire quick. You run quicker. It's just all about speed. It's like a speed hand cannon. It's like a hand cannon on drugs. Oh, couldn't I get this guy? He had a shoulder charge ready for me. Thank you. Um, I could challenge this, but I have a feeling that's a pulse rifle. Oh, nice rifty boy. Uh, this guy is really weak. Come on. No, get out of my way. I had this guy dead to right. And now I, I nearly died because that guy getting in my way. Thank you. Oh, God. What the hell are you running at me for? Stay back, you son of a gun. So you will see that it does fall off a bit. And it's not going to be as impactful as, obviously, the higher RPM ones. Which is uh, not annoying, but it's it can... Uh, <laughs> It can get you killed sometimes. I mean, in the fall off, if you're getting any fall off, it means you're going to have to shoot an extra time and stuff like that, which a lot of people just don't like and stuff like that. Boom! The double kill. 
Get off my beef flag and that's hammer assault. I should have saved it. I should have saved it. I should have saved it. Get away from me. Uh, where is this guy? Thank you. Get this guy. Did I even hit this guy? Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hit him. I didn't hit him. Come on, punch. Punch. Thank you. Put him up. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, uh, we we got them off the B flag, boys. I am protecting B with my freaking life. Is anyone gonna go? Oh my god, now they're capping it. As soon as I die, they start capping. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the encouragement on the B flag. Uh, they're all going. There's some behind. Oh, I hit him. Thank you. I <laughs> take that kill. Oh, but like, look how quick that is. Oh my god, there's a thunder crash coming in. Oh, I, I missed like so many shots because I'm, I suck, but there is a kill. Outlaw proc. Uh, I actually think I have such a sweet roll for this! But the 150s, they fire quick. They have so much damage and stuff. Go with them! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, I nearly got that guy. Oh, he was... <laughs> I'll take it, you know what? We'll take that. Um, there's a kill there. Can I run in here? Thank you, please save me. Uh, anyone going to peek this corner? There's someone here. Come on, we got him. There's the triple tap. We just dip. Oh, I just how quick the thing is at killing people. It's just ridiculous. Oh my god. Okay, we're just gonna have to run, 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 run. Out of my way, bros. Boop. This guy chilling here. Oh, this guy's so weak and he's actually gonna get away. He is actually. No, he's not. Um, last kill. Can I get it? Can I get it, boys? Can we do it? No, we're gonna just snipe someone's face off right now. Oh, the game's over. The game is over. I didn't even snipe someone. All right, the game kicked me out there as well. So we ended up with 26 kills altogether and 3.25. I mean, that's pretty good for the going, no? <laughs> Not too bad if I say so myself. All right, so as you can see, we are in Gambit. We're on the Dreamy City map, which is actually pretty fitting for the walk waking vigil, not walking vigil. But a couple of you guys have asked me to go into Gambit and test their PVE-wise and stuff like that, which I don't mind doing. It uh, it sort of is copying fruit, though. I mean, okay, yeah, it is a bit copying fruit because he did it first. But it is nice to test it out in PVE, and honestly, is he going to be scared that me, like a little mini YouTuber, is going to take his ideas? I doubt it. Well, this is it, obviously, in PvE and stuff. Like, you can see, it's super quick. You got Outlaw going. It just, oh, it does a lot of damage and stuff. We punch this guy. We got Biotic Enhancements and the punch keep punching. And there we go. Can I get one moat, boys? Moat, get one moat. I just needed one, guys. I could, oh, he's all at five. Okay, that was nice. Bro, you did faster than six. I could have taken that one moat off you and we both could have, oh, we could have all did five. At, oh, God. But this will be a bit different and stuff. I don't usually do Gambit and stuff, obviously, in my reviews. The thing is, though, this hand cannon, it should do pretty well in, uh... Oh, can I put a grenade then? It should do pretty well anyway in this, like, in PvE and stuff. It's gonna be quick firing. And the only thing is, you really... A lot of people would rather the high damage stuff like that. And the, uh... The L... Can I get this guy? The L, um, higher impact, like, better devils and stuff like that. They would probably be your better bet. I'll only take 10, guys. I'm gonna... Pop this in, and we're gonna medium bank. Come on, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Pop, and there they go. Oh, we are gonna invade, actually. Should we go for hand cannon kills? Or should we get this guy? Ah, <laughs> uh, bro, sit down, sit down. I can't hit this guy. I just can't hit that guy. Okay, we're just gonna go for this guy. Uh, we have a shoulder charge. Should I just do it? Should I do it? They got you. What? Why did I miss this? Oh, my God, really? Really, game? You're gonna play me like that and just make me auto aim on the guy behind him when the other guy was so close to dead? Uh, we shot one guy down for 13 modes. Obviously, I could invade and stuff like that with just the waking vigil and stuff like that. I mean, I could try it, but I don't really want to do that to my team or anything like that either. Can I not hit a headshot? Thank you. I don't want to do that to my teammates by like uh, just basically screwing them over. So, oh, Prime, thank you, game. Uh, so we're gonna try and get as much as we can. Obviously, I'll try the Waking Vigilance and stuff out on them as well. But like, look, you can see how quick it is. The only thing I will say though, in PVE, I'm probably better off having like a Rampager and a uh, Kill Clip gun. It's obviously in, a, in PVP, Rampage, Kill Clip are sort of time constraints and stuff like that. It's harder to use. In PVE though, it's so much easier to use. Like it's night and day how much easier it is to use. Kinda, I don't want to die here. It looks so bad. Can we get these modes? Thank you. Oh, I did not mean to press that. I did not mean to do that. Oh, that was unfortunate. Oh, Invader present, boys. Invader present. Where is he? Okay, we're just gonna hide. Ah, hide, hide, hide. I don't want to lose him. He's gonna go for my booty. He's probably over the left. Yeah, we are chicken shits. We are hiding. We are doing it well. I don't know where this guy is. Oh, Sentinel Shield. Oh, nice one, buddy. Oh, who is that guy? You. Oh, my God. You just saved my booty. Get rid of these guys. Come on. Get out of my spawn, boys. 
Oh, who is that guy? Ko Kojak, you are a savior. You got rid of him. Come on, let's go. Can you can plant your moat? Yeah, there we go. Let's do this, boys. Let's do it. Uh, oh, I don't have my thing. Obviously, I'm just going to have to do this. Just get rid of these stupid wizards. All right, unsuccessful there, but we're going in still. Come on, can we, get, can we kill these? Okay, here we go, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I didn't even do it. No, I wasn't running enough, guys. If you just gave me two seconds. I gotta got it. Oh, this is gonna be close. 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 Oh my god, guys. Nice one. Oh, that was so close, but we actually got the win. Whoo, okay, that's me playing Gambit, by the way, guys. I get hectic. I get nervous when it gets to the primevals. I don't usually use sleeper to actually kill guardians and stuff. I usually like to snipe, but when it gets to primeval kills, I try my best. Let's get excited, boys. But honestly, so far, I think the gun is actually really good. It's a. Uh, it fires super quick, which is always a nice on a gun. I think in PvE, it's a bit uh, unfortunate I don't have my kill clip or something. I think I would be going in a lot better with that if I had that perk on. Um, if I had kill clip or rampage or something just like that, that's all I need. And it would make this thing so good PvP. Especially with Outlaw, because Outlaw is just so dope. Come on, there's a moat up here. Can I get it? No. I... Bro, you've got two. If I had one, I got... Why do people always do this to me? Come on, get these guys. Thank you. These are all down. Thank you. Just one more, guys. I just want one. I don't ask for much. I do not take much either. Come on, there's one. Thank you. And now we throw this medium over. Come on, get these guys. But look, there it's good because it's actually a one-top and stuff. I shouldn't have shoulder charge there. But it's a one-top when you're, like, close up and stuff like that, which is always nice. I mean, you want your kills quickly and stuff like that. You want quick kills and you want damage. Which is why, like, people, like, a lot of people use Midnight Q in PvE because it's, <laughs> it's just so good. With this it outputs a bit of damage and obviously high caliber is helping. I think the god roll for me with this, it would have been if I got high caliber and um, high caliber. Oh, they're gonna invade, they're gonna invade, they're gonna invade. Oh, get it going, quick, quick, quick. Oh, we just <laughs> got that 1,000 voices. Oh, okay, we're getting some raiders. But yeah, a lot of people use the midnight Q and stuff like that just because of how much damage it does. That really flipped the wrong way around. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Uh, can I snipe this guy? Thank you. But this thing, it does output damage as long as you're kind of up close just and stuff. And obviously, you do get a bit of extra speed and everything with it as well, which is always nice. But even like in PvP and stuff, I think these guns are better there. I don't know if they're more PvE weapons, to be honest. I'd rather than PvP anyway. And um, PvE, if I was using the hand cannon, it would either be um, a really heavy hitting one. Or else one that, um, oh crap, uh, either really heavy or else Midnight Q. They're like the only two like things I actually use anytime. Guys, help me, please. Oh, thank you, Saint Sergeant Kenshin. Oh my god. Oh, I actually kind of shot the bed there. I mean, I was so scared. Oh, thank god for that wall. We're gonna invade. Oh, come on, here we go. Uh, who has the most? I'm 15. Oh, 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 there we go. We got 15. Um, as I said, I'm going to go get the big guys first. And then I'll work on the smaller guys. Like this one. He has a shotgun. It's so obvious. Yes, it's obvious. It's so obvious. Oh, uh, it always happens. But hey, we got the big boy. We got the guy who had all the moats. See, that is why I use a sniper. Because you can do that so quickly. And you just finish them off, guys. You want to plant it? Sergeant Kenshin. He's carrying us, I think. He is... Getting all the moats, shutting people down. I am in awe, sir. Let's get excited, boys. Primeval coming. Oh, they're going to summon theirs as well, which is not good. It's no bueno for us. Can we wait? Come on, let's do it. Oh, really? Guys, if we didn't take so long. What took us so long to get the moats in? How did we take so long? We had... Come on, Innis, put your freaking moats in. There we go. Don't be such a fool. Okay, we're just going to waste two shots on them. See, the thing is, I hate using sleeper on these things. But nobody ever gets rid of them. Like, look, it's still alive. Come on, why? Get rid of this thing. Come on. Die. Die. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Oh, I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Ooh okay, we got him. Okay, there's more bullets back for me. Don't worry, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Good boop, 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 boop. Probably should have waited for a bit more primeval slayer, but you know what? We're just gonna burn. We're gonna burn him down. Burn him down, boys. Burn him down. Okay, he's up there, is he? Oh, we did it. Oh my god, blade barrage. My god, we got the kill and <laughs> yeah he'd of course get me but hey boys <laughs> we actually won a game i mean i was not expecting to win a gambit game already we had a decent team and yeah not bad first time doing gambit 47 modes 46 kills and three guardians defeated not so bad kojak and sergeant kenshin oh save my ass a couple of times 
Well, that's it from me and the Waking Vigil. Honestly, it's actually a really good gun. I felt that it was a very strong weapon. In terms of, like, its RPM, it's just so good. It fires so quickly. It outputs a mean amount of damage. And they do have a large mag. I never really said that in the video, but they do have a pretty large magazine size. So it is really good in terms of that. Like, the heavy hitting ones, they have lower mags, and it's harder to keep on. Like, if you miss, obviously, you have to keep firing. But these have a pretty large mag. They can treat top in PvP, as long as you're in, a, like, the right range and stuff. And they are super quick in terms of, like, lightweight as well. You can run around so fast. It's really sweet. And, obviously, you have Outlaw on this one as well, Zen Moment. I think, overall, I got a really good roll. And I think, in general, it's just a really dope weapon. Now, PvE-wise, I still go with Midnight Q. I think Midnight Q is a better weapon in terms of PvE and everything like that. The reason I would say Midnight Q would be better than this, obviously, is because of Rampage and stuff like that. But the only thing about Midnight Q is, is that it's in the kinetic slot. This is like a separate... If, with the right of the right roll and stuff, this could be like your um, Midnight Q and your Energy Midnight Q. This would be actually a really good replacement for it. Now, obviously, I think in general, I would use a heavier hitting thing like this than this. It, just because of what perks and setups I have on it. But if I had Outlaw and Rampage going, like the Midnight Q or something like that, then I would definitely, definitely use this Waking Vigil. Obviously, it would be literally Midnight Q in the Energy Bracket. So definitely try to get yourself a really good roll in this sort of weapon. Obviously, I have a good roll in terms of PvP and stuff. I just think in PvE, Zen Moment, not really the most amazing pve i don't think i think it's more of a pvp perk but if you want to get if you got rampage here this thing would be freaking dope in pve as you can see it does one tap most of the time against the smaller mobs and stuff which is all you want especially with outlaw just headshot one mob and you got your bullets back so yeah overall i definitely tell you guys to try grind this out try get a good roll because it's literally like an energy midnight cube provided the right roll now obviously that's going to be hard to get maybe the created roll i haven't seen the created roll for the waking vigil maybe it does have rampage and stuff like that i don't know but honestly this gun it's super dope i would definitely recommend you go out and get it definitely for pvp anyway it's good there especially if you want to use like a i don't know a kinetic sniper or something and then PvE, it would definitely be good, provided the right role. But even, I'm not even saying, it's not bad PvE. I'm just saying it would be immense if you had the right role in it. But also, before I end the video there, I want to just ask, if you taught the Gambit game mode, if you want me to do more, like, PvE stuff, if you want me to review the weapons in PvE by doing Gambit or something like that, I don't mind doing it. I know Fruit does it, so, <laughs> as I said, if Fruit really cares about me doing it, I'll, I'll stop and stuff, but I don't even think he'll know who the hell I am, or he'll even care. But if you want to see more of the Gambit stuff, I don't mind doing it. I'll do it. One game PvP, one game PvE. It's actually a very smart idea. I always thought about doing it. It's just, I never really took the leap. But I know a good bit of you guys asked me to do it and i said why not if you guys want me to do it i'll do it so tell me in the comments below if you want me to do it and i'll keep on trying to do a trend for this so it is definitely up to you guys what i do but regardless if you like the video trust like add if you want to see more content subscribe have a fantastic day and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one